This lecture introduces a method that you can use to compute the inverse matrix of a non-singular matrix. So if A is a square non-singular matrix, then by the theorem 1.5.2, A is rho equivalent to I. So by the definition, that means there exists a finite sequence of elementary matrices here such that if you multiply a to this elementary matrices you get to i which is the identity matrix right so from this equation you can multiply both sides by a inverse because a is non-singular to get this equation and as you can see that a times a inverse is just i right here and then i times a inverse is just a inverse. So look at this equations here. You know you can see that the same elementary matrices that you that helps transform from a to i will transform from i to a inverse. So if you're applying the same row operations to a and that you use in a to get to i to then um, you can use the same row operation that you can use from i to get to a inverse. So this is how we compute a inverse, right? In a specific example, if you have, this is the three by three square matrix and uh, given that a is non-singular, that means a inverse exists, how can we find a inverse? We can find a inverse by you know, if you augment A to I, then you use some row operations to go from to get from A to I. Then the same row operation here will help you to get from I to A inverse. All right, let's set up the uh, matrix, the augmented matrix A first. Augmented with I, which is one zero 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 one zero 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 one, right? And at this point, we know how to reduce A to I. Um, let's see. So the first row here is the pivot row at this point, right? So that means you want to keep the first row, you want to make this entry equal to zero and this entry equal zero using some row operations. So row two will be the same as row two plus row one. Row three is row three minus row one. Okay. Then row one stay the same. Let's just rewrite row one. Row two plus row one will be new row two. So to zero, negative two, three, one, one, zero. And row three minus row one, I will have one minus one is zero, two minus zero is two, three minus three is zero, zero minus one is negative one, zero, zero is zero, one minus zero is one. Okay. Now we move the pivot row to the second row. Okay, and then we want to make this entry equals to zero. So row three, row three plus row two. Okay, let's go down here. Then what you have is uh, row one and row two stay the same. Row three, zero plus zero is zero. Two plus negative two is zero. Zero plus three is three. Negative one plus one is zero. Zero plus one is one. One plus zero is one. Okay. Well, at this point, we want to, um, there's several ways that you can do it. So now this is the pivot row. The last one, the last row is a pivot row. Now you have to go back up. Okay. Again, keep in mind that we have a upper triangle here. Going back up, um, I would 
take this one is a pivot row, right? Third one. And then I want to make this equal to zero, this equal to zero by doing what? By take, so row two will be row two minus row three. Okay, and row one will be row one minus row three. You see that? Because row two minus row three, you're gonna get two minus two, uh, three minus three is zero, three minus three is zero. So that's why we want to take row two and row one minus row three. So row three will stay the same. So we just rewrite row three for now. Row two minus row three. So zero minus zero is zero, negative two minus zero is negative two, three minus three is zero. 1 minus 0 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, 0 minus 1 is negative 1, okay, go to row 3, 1 minus 0 is 1, 0 minus 0 is 0, 3 minus 3 is 0, 1 minus 0 is 1, 0 minus 1 is negative 1, 0 minus 1 is negative 1, okay. Well then, uh, at this point, we look at this matrix on the, uh, on the left here. It's almost an identity matrix, except this entry and this entry. These two entries here have to be one. So the next row operation is row two, goes to row two divided by negative two. Row three is row three divided by three. Okay, well the resulting matrix after this two row operation is row one stay the same. Row two will be zero, negative uh, would be one, zero, uh, negative one half, zero, and positive one half. Row three will be zero, zero, one, which is what we want. And this will be zero, then one third, and this is one third. At this point, you see that I use a bunch of row operations here, right? To transform A to I. This is I, identity matrix. And the same row operations that helps me transform I to my inversed matrix A. So this is I augmented with A inversed. Thus, the A inverse equals to one, negative one, negative one, negative one half, zero, one half, zero, one third, and one third. This is how you find um, the inverse matrix of a non-singular matrix using row operations, elementary matrices.